அஸ்லாம் வலைக்கும் வரமத்துல்லாஹி வரகாத்து குட் ஈவினிங் டு ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ வி ஆர் ஒர்க்கிங் ஆன் த யூனிட் நம்பர் சிக்ஸ் ஹோப் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ கோட் டு நோ யோர் ஓ லெவல் எக்ஸாம் ஹேஸ் பீன் போஸ்ட் போன் டு ஃபெப்ரவரி got to know it no sir no sir yes let's pray the god at least in february if they keep the exam you can come out of this burden and take the life to the next level the sri lankan mongol politicians are joking with the uh, feature of the children last saturday i told the students this could happen and on sunday or monday i got the message now they are giving holidays to schools now so then can't cover syllabus those type of joke things are there no simply how many chapter subjects you sit for the exam nine subjects if i am the education minister i will short it shorten it to six subjects okay in this situation in this tough level do you want to compulsorily least uh, do exams on history like subjects no need no hmm? so we are working on the uh, nervous system correct we have already started to discuss the nervous system inshallah today i think we can complete the unit number 6 okay these uh, physical class children what shall we do one side power cut let's go ahead my children in this unit one of the bigger unit i think we have come to this point correct yes sir so cerebrum i explained to you correct 
yes sir yes sir so today i have to start to discuss the cerebellum in the case of cerebellum now if you take this picture this is the front part of the cerebrum which part front part that mean your forehead region is there this is the anterior okay part of or front part of cerebrum understood it is in your forehead region behind your forehead region the front part of the cerebrum is there in that case this is the hind part your book says it is the latter part of cerebrum front part latter part hind part okay cerebellum is located below the latter part of the cerebrum clear are you clear yes sir good mark these two the front part of cerebrum a latter part of cerebrum Okay, have you marked it? Yes, yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Here also, like in the cerebrum. Now, last class I told you, in the cerebrum, how many hemispheres are there? How many hemispheres are there? Ah, my children. Last class you marked it. Yes. Now. Huh. last class you marked it now how many hemispheres are here have you two labeled two huh two hemispheres two hemispheres right hemisphere left hemisphere didn't you mark last class marked sir then two how many hemispheres are there two, two hemispheres. hemispheres are there like that in cerebrum also cerebellum also there are how many hemispheres how many hemispheres two hemispheres two hemispheres okay in the cerebrum we pointed okay outside portion is in what color gray gray color it is made of cell bodies inside it is in what color white color white color it is called white matter it is made of no fibers same thing available here here also outside layer is made of what matter gray, gray matter gray. gray matter is made of whom cell bodies gray matter is made of cell body cell bodies white matter is interior inside it is white in color interior is white matter white matter is made of foam already given to you white matter is made of no fiber no fiber no fibers right now what are the functions what are the functions of cerebellum one of the function is maintaining body 
balance what is the function maintaining, maintaining body balance body balance in this case now i have given two examples here one it is riding a bicycle now when you are riding a bicycle right you manage a balance if you don't manage a balance you will fall not like a car correct in a car yes sir though you don't ride the car you will stay straight straight but in a bicycle if you don't ride the bicycle okay you you can't stay in the true two wheel you will fall down so you when you are riding a bicycle you maintain a balance that happens automatically do you think that i am maintaining a balance when you are riding a bicycle do you think no no i have to, should not fall to this side i have to go to this side i should not fall to this side i have to go to this side is that one there I mean no okay you involuntarily okay you will be going on speaking in a phone you will be going on chatting with a friend but bicycle is going on that is the body balance controlled by very well another thing it is called it your book says it is controlling voluntary muscle activity another word you can apply here is it is doing the coordination of voluntary muscle activity right what is this coordination my children coordination mean when a set of events are there which one should happen first which one should happen second which one should be done third maintaining that order is called by the name what is it coordination yeah. maintaining that order now you have seen small children playing drill correct in a drill yes. play there should be a particular practice this to order among the children yes so no yes yes sir yeah. if that order is missed then drill will not be drill thereafter okay drill will become market place thereafter so that be the beauty of drill is the order correct yes sir similarly now say i am choosing this letter okay this letter singhala language alphabetical letters are artistic letters it has several curves am i right not like tamil o english okay when you write this letter your finger muscles are turning in various places to complete this iron correct yes sir if that order is not followed will it be finishing on iron no sir no no sir that is we that's what we are telling cerebellum coordinates voluntary muscle activity okay what to do what to do is controlled by whom cerebellum cerebrum okay cerebrum's one function it is cerebrum controls what is it voluntary muscle uh contraction okay voluntary muscle contraction is 
controlled by whom? Cerebrum. Cerebrum. Cerebrum will control which this muscle contract, this muscle contract, this muscle contract, this muscle contract. Cerebellum will decide in what order those muscles have to contract. Understood? According to the instruction of the cerebellum, in cerebrum, muscles will be contracting. Understood? According to the instruction of the cerebrum, in cerebellum, muscles will be contracting. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So, under cerebrum, you children mark down this point. Have you marked it? Yes, sir. So, followingly, we further move in the chapter. Involve in the maintenance of body movement. Both of them are same, second and third. Next it is, who's about whom? Medulla, Medulla oblongata. Oblonga. In this picture, this small stalk like structure is home. Medulla oblongata. Okay, it's a small structure. Okay, it will be to the size of your thumb finger. Okay, in thickness. Okay, near to that size also. That is the thumb finger size. That is medulla oblongata. Have you marked medulla oblongata? Yes, sir. Good. Now, medulla oblongata is a very important area. Okay. Any damage caused to medulla oblongata is enough to kill a person. Understood? Is enough to kill a person. That's one of those one, one, one person. In the school life, he was around six to seven years elder than me. But one of the person I admired in my life, in the school life, when I was in grade 7, 8, he was in A-level life. That kind of my age different. But one of the person I admired in my life. Very uh, active guy. Uh, quickly getting temper. In school sports meet like things. Definitely he will create problems. Judges can't do any mistakes. He will get into the trouble. Finally, he passed away by falling from the roof, striking in the back part of his head. Medulla oblongata got damaged. His name is Iftikar. One of my, uh, so you know, in that age, this kind of active, okay, arrogant, hero-like guys, they attract our attention, right? That way. Is no more. Reason medulla oblongata controls the rate of our heartbeat. It controls our rate of respiration, vomiting, coughing, swallowing like uh, reflex actions are controlled by the medulla oblongata. So when the medulla oblongata gets striked on a if your back part of your head get strike on a hard place. If there are disturbances or damages coming to the medulla oblongata, 
the very first symptom that person will be showing is he will start to vomit. That's why if you run to a doctor telling, okay, the head has hardly tight to a surface, the doctor's first question will be vomiting. If no vomiting, the doctor will come to an idea, okay, he is not in trouble. Anyway, we will keep him under uh, monitoring. Understood? So that much very important is medulla oblongata. Is it clear for everyone regarding medulla oblongata? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. From there, we are coming to the next heading. What is the heading? Final code. Final code is a tube-like structure that continues from the medulla oblongata. Medulla oblongata's continuity will be boom. Spinal, final. final code. Okay. If you move down in the from the spine, uh, medulla oblongata downwards, you will travel through the now here. This is a nice picture that shows a real man's spinal cord. Wait a minute. Can you see? <clears throat> so, what is this part? What is that part? Head. Brain, brain. It is our brain. Understood? These two are? Yes, sir. These two are? Eyes. And from the brain, this code is traveling and that code is the Spinal, spinal cord. Here you can ask, sir, what are these? These are the spinal nerves. Okay. In either sides of the spinal cord, there will be spinal nerves. Last class I told you how many pairs of spinal nerves are produced. Can you remember? How many pairs of spinal nerves? How many pairs? Check your tube. How many pairs? 31. Mm. 31. 31 pairs. Right. Here, that is the real one. This is the cross section. If you cut it inside, how it look like in it. What is the material located outside? White matter. White, White matter. matter. What is the material located inside? Gray, gray matter. Gray matter. Gray matter. In the center of the gray matter, there is a canal. And that canal is called? Central canal. Central canal. Central canal. Central canal. So, here, what is this? And what is this? Both are pink. Let's see who is telling that. What it could be? Medulla oblongata. Medulla oblongata coming both sides. Nerves. Huh? Who told? Spinal nerves. Ah, spinal nerves. This is the spinal nerve. Correct? This is another spinal nerve. 
spinal nerve. So there are a spinal nerve. When well, there's a spinal nerve on left side, there will be a spinal nerve on the right side. Right side. That's why they say spinal nerves are produced how? Symmetrically. Symmetrically mean in one place there is a spinal nerve on left side mean in the same place on the other side, right side, there will be another spinal nerve. Clear? Yes, sir. Good. Good. So, if you are clear, we will come to this heading. What is the heading? Read the heading. Reflex arc. Reflex arc. First of all, I am going to give you an idea. What is reflex arc? Then we will read this. Okay. Here, my children, here, can you notice what is happening? You touch a hot object. Okay. When you touch a hot object accidentally, what will you do? Quickly take off the hand. We will quickly take off the hand. Correct? Yes, sir. How that is happening is explained here. First of all, your hand is touching the hot object. Correct? That means yes, it is receiving a stimulus. What is the stimulus here? What is the Eat. stimulus here? Heat. Eat. Heat is the stimulus. Heat is contacting with our skin. Okay. Our skin works as the receptor. Who is our skin? Receptor. Our skin is receptor. working as the, what is it? Receptor. In the receptor, when the heat is received by the receptor, it will generate an impulse. What will it generate? An, an what impulse. What will it generate? An uh, impulse. Impulse, keep in the mind, it is an electric. What is it? Current. Current. Now, in the skin, an electric current is produced. Correct? Yes. This current is going to travel through three neurons. How many neurons? Three neurons. Three neurons. Three neurons. One neuron I am marking here. This is one neuron. I am marking in red color. It is going this way. It is finishing here. And what is the name given to that neuron? Sensory neuron. Correct? Here, another neuron there. Another neuron there. That neuron takes the impulse to the muscle. What is the name of that neuron? Interneuron. No, Baba. No. Motor, motor, motor neuron. Motor neuron. Motor neuron. The interneuron and motor neuron are connected by a neuron and that neuron is Intermediate neuron. Intermediate neuron. Are you clear the three neurons? Yes, 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 yes. sir. Yes, so sir. first from the skin, 
current is traveling through the sensory neuron. From the sensory neuron, you are going to the, sorry, not you, the impulse is going to the, which neuron? Sensory. From sensory neuron, impulse is going to the intermediate, intermediate neuron. From intermediate neuron, now the impulse will be going to the motor neuron. Motor neuron. Motor neuron. motor neuron carries the impulse to the muscle correct here muscle is the effector muscle is the what is it effector effector Clear? Yes, sir. Right. So finally, we are the impulses. We are the impulses starting its journey. We are the From impulses receptor. starting its journey. Receptor. In the receptor. Then it is traveling through the sensory neuron. Then it is traveling through the intermediate, intermediate neuron. neuron. Then it is traveling through the motor neuron. Finally reaching the effect. This route is called reflex arc. Understood? Yes, sir. Could you please mark these details? Use three color pens and mark those things.
Then so. Then, sir. Completed? Yes, sir. Good, good. So, you understood what is reflex arc, correct? Yes, so, sir. Tell me the order of reflex arc. First, it is receptor. Receptor. From receptor. Sensory neuron. Sensory neuron. From sensory neuron. Intermediate, intermediate neuron. Intermediate neuron. Correct? Yes, sir. From intermediate neuron. Motor neuron. Motor neuron. Motor neuron. From motor neuron. Effector muscle. Effector, effector. Muscle is one effector, gland is another effector. Understood? If you yes. show these ones connected by an arrow, okay, receptor to sensory neuron and arrow, like that, if you make an arrow, that is reflex arc. Understood. Done, sir. Have everyone completed it? Have everyone completed it? The reflex arc? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So by understanding the reflex arc, 
let's go back here what is written the part the part taken by a uh, is to bring out a response is called reflex arc understood read yes, the sir. second one reflex arc, arc is the functional, is the functional unit of nervous, nervous system so which one is the functional unit of nervous system reflex arc reflex right. arc below that one mark this point structural unit of nervous system is neuron who is the structural unit of nervous system neuron functional unit of nervous system reflex arc clear understood yes sir yes sir fine so reflex arc is over in the reflex arc how many neurons are involving three neurons intermediate neuron can also be called by the name interneuron what is the function of sensory neuron carrying impulses from receptor to intermediate neuron receptor to intermediate neuron or the central nervous system motor neuron where to where it carries impulses motor neuron from whom to whom from intermediate neuron to from neuron. intermediate neuron correct yeah. neuron o c n s central nervous system to effector effect correct agree interneuron yes, okay it transfers impulses from sensory neuron to it takes the impulse from the sensory neuron and give it to whom give it to whom motor neuron are you clear are you clear yes sir Yes, complete it done sir good so passing that one we are coming to the next heading what is it reflex action okay if you take reflex reflex actions in our body they are 
involuntary responses happening in our body sudden involuntary responses now these types of thing when some dust suddenly goes inside your nose you will be sneezing can you stop that sneezing no sir no when you see a tasty of food saliva secretes can you stop it no can't can't so same thing for blinking of eyelids also now after sitting for this class how many times you blink your eyes mean several times correct is it happening with your knowledge or out of your knowledge out of our knowledge out of your knowledge. knowledge that's why we call it what kind of response involuntary involuntary response and it's a sudden response some of these reflex actions are controlled by our what is it brain brain some of the reflex ones are controlled by our spinal cord Good. okay if it is controlled by the brain how do you describe them cranial reflex actions if it is controlled by the spinal cord how do you describe them spinal reflex spinal reflex actions are you clear yes yes sir okay. taking the hand away from a hot object or raising the legs when pricked by a thorn or some spinal reflex action okay right you should know these examples they are within your syllabus fine in the human body one part of the brain and okay one part of the brain controls what kind of functions read this one involuntary involuntary functions, functions of, the of the internal organs for an example your heart is beating our heart is beating this heart beating is it voluntary or involuntary 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 okay its beat is not in your control correct yes sir is it good or bad good good why why because we can't control all of them then focus no. and control them that mean we all have one word in our mouth everyone they use that word what is it we are busy people correct we are busy so in, in the busy can you concentrate controlling your heart beat no sir no that is one thing a uh, better heart beat to be uh, involuntary another thing is there some third class utter fellows like hitler mussolini idi ami mahindra rajapaksa gotabaya rajapaksa like people the only relief we have on these people is now today is today or yesterday yesterday godavai rajapaksa's birthday 73rd birthday the only relief we have with is okay these guys are old okay will not live long correct yes sir so the only way they get out of this sri lanka is dying so 
if most of the people die because their heart stops the function if heart function is voluntary every time the heart stops this man will again start the heart then will mahindra rajapaksa die will godavara rajapaksa die will there be a relief for sri lanka no so in that way if you think better heart function to be involuntary in the brain two places this place we don't come across in the previous portions is a small peanut like substructure called hypothalamus okay and uh, you know this part medulla oblongata these two places are responsible in controlling these involuntary internal organs and the nervous part of the nervous system does, does it is called autonomic nervous system remember autonomic nervous system controls only involuntary functions of the internal organ no voluntary functions are controlled by it heart working or lungs working or stomach working or kidney working or under home autonomic nervous system in the autonomic nervous system there are two choices read this name sympathetic nervous sympathetic sympathetic nervous system other one parasympathetic parasympathetic nervous system when you are in a excitement excitement can be different it can be worry it can be anger it can be fear correct all these are excitement when you are excited you will be stimulating the sympathetic nervous system when you are cool you will be stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system clear okay yes, now when say tomorrow your ol result is releasing at this moment you get that message tomorrow ol results is coming if you are a child worked hard and expecting a good result and your parent is also expecting a good result in that situation okay one side you will be creating a fear correct yes sir fear what is going to be okay you will not feel to eat anything uh, so and anything mama brings and gives some food no no i am not interested in eating it that kind of responses we will show sympathetic nervous systems role play anyway after seeing the result okay after seeing the result you will come to a relaxation right however <sighs> think of the day that you are finishing your o level examination last day last paper finishing and going home another four months i have what is it uh, nothing to worry about i will fully sleep i will play i will visit my relatives i don't want to take this education in the head generally children who choose a level science immediately start their a levels other subjects commerce arts technology people they wait until the results comes to start it anyway 
that day you will be very much relaxed correct right so when you are relaxed or oh, after food consumption okay after food consumption who is working parasympathetic is working now when you have sympathetic nervous system is stimulated when you are feared when you are excited what are the things happening one thing your eye pupil will be becoming large saliva secretion will stop in your mouth your mouth will become dry okay heart beat rate will increase okay breathing rate will increase peristalsis will decrease because peristalsis decreases you will not feel hungry okay think of a person who is going to be hanged okay he has done a mistake and he is going to be hanged that is nothing at that moment in the next minute i am not in this world now i am healthy in the next minute i am not in this world me okay in his body what are the changes these changes anyway when you are relaxed pupil size will become small saliva will secrete mouth will be becoming wet heartbeat will be reducing and coming to normal lung rate breathing rate will be reducing and coming to normal peristalsis will increase you will be feeling hungry understood understood yes sir generally exam day sir in on exam day for me always who works sympathetic nervous sympathetic nervous. works but i manage the sympathetic i will do several things to manage the sympathetic okay i would be tapping on the table and singing songs until the exam paper is received to keep sympathetic down on the half way in the exam hall i used to drink tea refreshments like this i do many things to bring down my what is it sympathetic stimulation because in exam hall if parasympathetic is working there only we can cool think okay hope you would have seen okay in an excitement a well known answer you would be writing wrong correct yes sir that is due to stimulation of what is it sympathetic, sympathetic nervous system maximum we have to keep ourselves cool okay so with this one nervous coordination is over we are coming to which coordination chemical coordination in this coordination the chemicals that involved in the coordination are called hormones 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 are secreted by the glands called endocrine glands endocrine glands endocrine glands after secreting those hormones will be collected by whom blood blood it is the blood that carries the hormone to the right place understood right i will further give you a small explanation regarding it now let's go for this gland what is the gland name 
What is the gland's name? Sweat gland. Sweat gland. Here, I am choosing a sweat gland. If you take the sweat gland, sweat gland secretes sweat. Understood? Sweat gland is secreting, what is it? Sweat. Here, this is the place where the sweat is secreted. This is the place where the sweat has to come. Understood? Are you clear what I told you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One place it is secreted, it should come to our skin surface. The sweat should come. If it comes to skin surface only, the purpose of sweat can be complete. In that case, to take the sweat from the gland to the surface, here there is a tube. This tube is called by the name. What is the name? Duct. Duct. So, in the case of sweat, in the case of sweat, this is the gland. This is the gland. Okay. And this is the target. Where it should reach is the, what is it? Target. Target. So, the target from the gland to target, who carries the sweat? From the gland to the target, who carries the sweat? Duct. Duct. Clear? Yes, sir. If you take an endocrine gland, in an endocrine gland, you will not notice ducts. Endocrine gland. I'm just searching endocrine gland. Okay. If you take endocrine gland, okay, endocrine gland, it is also called with ductless gland. Ductless gland. Right? In this case, this is a nice picture. Can you See the, don't see the other pictures, no point of it. This is not necessary. Concentrate on this. Can you see the endocrine gland? Yes, sir. Yes. Can you see that blue color dot, 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 dot like things? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What are they? Hormone molecules. Hormone molecules. Those hormone molecules are coming into the blood vessel through the blood vessel they reach the target, target cell is they are a duct to carry the hormone molecule from no. the endocrine gland to the target cell no no so why all these explanations suddenly they have mentioned a word how do they describe these endocrine glands? What is the other name given for endocrine glands? Ductless, ductless, ductless glands. Glands without duct. Understood? Yes, sir. Right. If you take hormones, hormones have certain qualities. One of the quality. Hormones are organic compounds. Some of the hormones are, what is it? Protein. Some of the hormones are, what is it? Lipids. lipids. Some hormones are protein, some hormones are lipids. Protein or lipid, they are organic compounds. Second, they are transported through? Blood. Blood. Third one, they are produced at one place. 
in that place they will not do any function they will be carried to another place they are only they will do the function clear yes sir i used to tell in all my classes in this third quality it is hormones are working as girls girls are lovingly okay brought up by the parents mainly fathers show lots of love and affections on the daughters okay but finally that girl leave the family go to another family and give gives all her service to that family correct so they are brought up with lots of care by the parents finally that girl doesn't serve to the parents she goes and look after mother in law nice now so in that case hormones are like that they are made in one place in that place do they work no no they are carried to another place in that place they do the work the fourth one they stimulate the target organs or target cells stimulation mean they will go and give a command you do this simply it is like a key to a vehicle what does the key do in a vehicle if you touch the if the right key if the right key okay if the right key is there the vehicle will start correct yes sir they are after functioning of the vehicle doesn't depend on the key correct yes sir to start the engine you need the key is that mean key is making the vehicle to run no no to start it started it then engine have to travel without key engine will not start that is true without hormone target cell will not function that is true but hormone doesn't do anything just like a key it will start the target cell to work understood yes sir yes and finally hormones are needed in small amount now have you seen people taking insulin injection yes sir yes sir okay according to your knowledge how many milliliter they will be injecting into the body at a time how many milliliter i think like this i'm not sure approximately how many milliliter 5 milliliter 5 milliliter we have nearly 6 liter of blood to that 6 liter of blood we are injecting insulin hormone only 5 milliliter that mean that much is enough more than that is not necessary understood so hormones are needed in very small amounts are you clear yes sir right. in human body there are many endocrine glands read one by one 
hypothalamus hypothalamus it is in the brain second pituitary gland pituitary gland is also in the brain thyroid, thyroid gland you use write the word gland thyroid gland another one adrenal glands adrenal gland another one kidney pancreas pan kidney okay kidney 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 is not taken here okay pancreas in the females what is it ovaries in the males testes are endocrine gland in your syllabus actually hypothalamus is an endocrine gland it really secretes nearly uh yeah six hormones but there's nothing written about the hypothalamus in your syllabus you are first spoken about the pituitary gland they say it is located below the hypothalamus actually pituitary gland secretes seven hormones how many hormones seven hormones seven, seven hormones. hormones but only one in syllabus what is that hormones name growth, growth hormone because of growth hormone you are growing okay you are growing children till you are growing until you are 22 23 you will grow that is with the contribution of growth hormone have you seen dwarf people short people have you seen yes sir yes okay what's wrong with them they don't make more growth hormone understood yes sir yes sir so the growth hormone is making the bones to grow longer the body tissues to grow well protein synthesized supporting the growth all these are growth hormones work so if in a person's body if the growth hormone is not enough not sufficient what would happen he will its bones will be will not be growing taller he will be a dwarf person okay that is one guy in akurna town walking here and there have you seen guys yes, sir in the seventh mile post area there's one buddy guy wearing denim and everything walking here and there right second it is thyroid gland ada okay எனக்கு தண்ணி கொஞ்சம் அனுப்புங்க
هذانا هو صح so now only he is starting this is the problem when it is there for you here no now only this man start in my area man is the man top pin punctuality time mean time Okay. Now, thyroid gland is present in your neck region, which place in which place in the neck region, in the upper part of our neck. To explain that one, your book is using this kind of a wording style: posterior to trachea, dorsal part of the neck. this way it is explaining okay location is not a bigger thing okay thyroid gland secretes two hormone what are the two hormones read this hormone read it ma uta read it what is the hormone here alcitonin and what is this hormone thyroxine thyroxine what is the work of calcitonin what is the work of okay, see the answer what is the work of calcitonin reducing Reduce calcium level in blood what is the work of thyroxine control metabolic control metabolic, metabolic rate okay right we are not taking it to a bigger issue just we understand and go pancreas is our next pancreas is location is written like this can you read the location mm. 
bend of duodenum hmm. between stomach and large intestine in the bend of the duodenum between stomach and large intestine pancreas secretes two hormones what are the two hormones insulin ha huh. glycogen is not glycogen is it written glycogen it is g l y written read it correctly glucogen glucogon what are the two hormones secreted by the pancreas what are the two hormones insulin insulin glucogon insulin's work is this what is the work what is the work of insulin hmm tell me converts glucose into glucogen glycogen 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 converts glucose into glycogen what is the work of glucogen convert glycogen into glucose convert glycogen into glucose okay next it is adrenal glands they are located above the kidneys and there are many hormones coming from them but only one is in syllabus what is that hormone what is that hormone adrenaline what is the name of the hormone adrenaline adrenaline, adrenaline. it prepares your body to be active in an emergency when you are in a danger okay normally okay something that you cannot do normally you will do when you are in a danger okay that is with the help of adrenaline clear that is with the help of adrenaline okay now say there is a 10 feet tall wall can you jump over a 10 feet tall wall easily no can you jump over a 10 feet tall wall easily no can't. sir can't sir can't but when a dog chases you to save yourself from the dog you will jump over it that is the help given by home adrenaline okay sports people misuse the adrenaline understood sports people misuse the adrenaline what they do is to win now say a person is running a race they want to win okay but normally their stamina is low in that case they take an adrenaline injection okay and take part in the sports activity now their body is in what state prepared activated state in an emergency their performance will be their performance will be very high understood but in sports arena it is illegal understood yes sir illegal right next it is testis 
testis is located outside the abdominal region in a male and what is the hormone secreted by it read the name test tos testosterone testosterone because of testosterone in the males these characters develop what is developing development of secondary sexual character beard growing mustache growing in the armpit region in the chest region hairs growing okay voice is breaking okay the vestibular is there okay okay in the beginning they would be having a, a high pitch voice and they will be starting to make a low pitch voice all these ones are due to testosterone second function is given induces spermatogenesis sperm production sperm production that is testosterone secondly ovaries ovaries are pointed they are located below the kidneys they are secreting two hormones what are the two hormones mentioned to you here estrogen progesterone like in the males in the females also there are secondary sexual characteristics skin becoming soft secondary sexual characteristic hairs are growing taller secondary sexual characteristic memory glands breasts growing secondary sexual characteristics like this there are secondary sexual characteristics in the females also those secondary sexual characteristics are uh, controlled by developed by estrogen remember if you can inject testosterone to a girl you can make her develop male secondary sexual characters by injecting estrogen to a boy you can develop female secondary sexual characters in him possible women performing body building normally female muscles are not supporting uh, they are not becoming be one of the uh, impact of testosterone is male muscles become very stronger female muscles are not becoming stronger so if the muscles are not stronger uh, building the body will not be fine so what the uh, women who involved in body building do is they inject testosterone inside their body then only it is developing and finally progesterone it is doing this work what is the work it maintains pregnancy if progesterone is not there a child living in the uterus of a mother will be aborted are you clear yes sir are uh, you yes, clear sir. good my children we are coming to the last part of our heading what is the last part it is what is it homeostasis i will explain you homeostasis first here before here before right i have pointed you this word correct tissue fluid are you already familiar to the word tissue fluid yes yes sir yes. now the tissue fluids is surrounding the cells right yes sir 
the conditions of the tissue fluid is very important it's very important to the cells if the conditions of the tissue fluid are best only cell performance also will be at its best almost like you now some children some children what we have seen very talented children okay very talented children in their educational life they don't meet good performance talent wise they would be very fine but their educational journey in their educational journey they will not perform at their best why oh that why the main answer is family environment understood family environment the family environment should be at its best for a child to okay succeed in its educational life right in some houses all the time people all the time people people coming people going people coming people going people coming people going whether some people will come to their house or, the, or these people will go to their house all the time visitors functions entertainment this kind of environment though the child is willing to study environment doesn't support it like this i can tell many things many things so you have to understand if the tissue fluids condition that environment conditions are at they are best only the cells can perform the cells can do their work at best clear yes sir that is one thing i want to tell you you might ask the other way if the internal environment is not maintained constant what would happen sir okay for that one now i am going to give an answer now a simple example diabetes if you take diabetes okay blood sugar level will be increasing internal environment sugar level is not properly maintained that is the problem of uh, diabetes diabetes will bring uh, several issues i am going to show you one issue there it is called diabetic ulcer what is the name diabetic ulcer diabetic ulcer diabetic ulcer we will see how diabetic ulcer would be okay so thing it is everything is fine in sri lanka internet is also very fast in sri lanka See this. 
This is only because of diabetes. Can you see? Some people lose their legs, some people lose their fingers, some people lose their life. So, what I want to tell you is maintaining the conditions of the internal environment is very, very, very important. Right? Maintaining that one is important. Cannot allow to increase, cannot allow to decrease, should stay at one level. That is called homeostasis. Are you clear? Are you clear? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, so, sir. what is homeostasis is written here. What is homeostasis? Read it. Maintenance, Maintenance of internal environment. So, what kind of internal environment is maintained? Constant. 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 Constant means can you allow to increase? No. no. Can you allow to decrease? Can't. Can't. That is what we call maintain. In this, there is a mechanism working. What is the name of the mechanism? Feedback mechanism. Feedback mechanism. I am not going to speak about the rest of the things at the moment. I will go one by one below. Finishing that one, I will come to the rest. Okay. In our body, there are many factors constantly maintained in the internal environment. Three are in your syllabus. Who are the three in your syllabus? Water, blood, blood glucose level. Body, body temperature, temperature water, balance. water balance. Now, first of all, let us try to understand how blood glucose level is maintained in our body. Remember, at fasting, at fasting, fasting means for 12 hours without taking any food, you can drink water without taking any food. For, by fasting for 12 hours, if you go and check your blood, in that blood, if the blood glucose level is 80 to 120 milligram per 100 milliliter, you are a healthy person. Understood? If you go and check, after 12 hours of fasting, your blood, in that blood, 80 to 120 milligram per 100 milliliter glucose is there. You are a healthy person. That's first thing you have to understand. So what is your standard level? What is your standard level? What is the standard of your blood glucose level? 80 to 120 milligram per 100 milliliter. MCQ question can come. Actually, now, did you have your breakfast? Today? Yes, sir. Today, did you have your lunch? Yes, sir. Right. After no. lunch, after lunch, if you go in two hours' time, if you go and check your blood, okay, your blood will show 140 nearly. 140 milligram per 100 milliliter. So showing greater, correct? Showing greater than what it is required by you. Am I right? 
Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. When it become greater, that extra glucose they are not, that should be removed from our body. To remove it, to remove it, this hormone comes to work. Who is the hormone? Insulin. Insulin. This insulin is secreted by this tissue. What is the tissue's name? Read it. I let soft tang hand. What is the name of the tissue? What is the name of the tissue? Eye legs of eye legs of longer hand. That tissue is in the organ called. What is the name Pen of the organ? Pancreas. Pancreas. In the eyelets of longer hand tissue, there are cells called. Beta cells. Beta cells. So hormone is whom? Who is the hormone? Insulin. Insulin. Who is the organ? Pancreas. Pancreas. Who is the tissue? Eyelets of longer hands. And who is the cell secreting insulin? Beta, Beta cells. Beta cell. Insulin has two functions to do. One function is this that you are already familiar. What is the function? Glucose into glycogen. Converting Can glucose into glycogen. This glycogen will be stored in our liver. Liver. But liver can store only a small amount. Liver can't store a lot. So excess, excess glucose, if you are eating, 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 more glucose coming in the body, mean excess glucose will be converted to fat. Fat. That is also done by insulin. Glucose converted to glycogen done by insulin. Excess glucose converted to fat is also done by insulin. Insulin. But glycogen is stored in the Glycogen is stored in the liver. Liver. Egg fat is stored in the adipose tissue. Fat tissue. In our body, the fat tissue they are everywhere in our body. Everywhere fat tissue is there. The biggest fat tissue is there in your in our abdominal region, our belly region. You know belly, correct? Yes, sir. In the belly region. That's why when a person starts to eat too much, he is gaining belly fat. Okay? He is getting, what is it? Belly fat. Okay. Now, can you understand this story? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Say one person now what's going to be uh, future Sri Lanka. Okay. Future Sri Lanka. That is people fighting without food. Due to not having food, they are one person's blood glucose level, say, decreases below 80, coming to 70 like. Now another hormone comes to work. What is the name of the hormone? Glycogen. Uh -huh. Glucogen. Gluco. Gun. Gun. How do you read it? Glucogen. Glucogen is also in the organ called. Pancreas. Okay. It is also belonging to the tissue called? 
Eyelids. Eyelids. Eyelids of lung hens. But the cell secreting the glucagon is <coughs> which cells? Alpha cells. Alpha cells. Glucagon's work is very easy. It is converting glycogen stored in the liver into glucose and release into blood. What is the function? What is the function of glucogen? Convert glycogen stored in liver into glucose and release into blood. Blood. So until it comes to normal, it will be released. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Thereafter, when you come for, you, you know this story. Okay. In some people, this insulin hormone is not secreted in enough amounts. Some people will be born without beta cells. Some people will be having beta cells, but insulin secretion will be low. These kind of people will show a high blood glucose level and that condition is called by the name? Diabetes. Diabetes. Diabetes is genetical. If your father, if your mother have it, you have to be careful. Okay, right. Thereafter, we have to speak about the regulation of body temperature. That, inshallah, we will discuss in the coming class and uh, do the works I am sending continuously. Further, the next tube, unit number seven, will be sent to you. Take the printouts and get ready. Okay. Okay, sir. So we'll meet inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah, sir.